So today is the opening of the Bothie. It's a grassroots um, initiative, and it's effectively it's going to be a recovery community centre. So we'll be running activities here, we'll have drop-ins, that people can come and learn about recovery from addiction. There'll be volunteers and peer supporters to, to help people, and, and that goes for families as well. Today is the official launch of this place, like, you know, and we've worked really hard. The community, the local community, have rallied around, um, putting the carpets, we've, you know, knocked down walls. It's been very heartening, uh, the people coming together. But Craig Muller's got a history of that anyway. You know, like a lot of the schemes in, in Scotland, we had to do it ourselves. We've set this place up right in the heart of Craig Muller, which has long been one of the, the deprived areas in Scotland and we've had a lot of drugs problems in the past, a lot of alcohol problems as well. It was a, a strong working class area for a long time and in the 80s when heroin came in it was at the time of the, the industry's decline. So it's been pretty bad in the area and um, when Covid hit a lot of the, the frontline services for helping people to initiate recovery, whether that be through medication to help them stabilise and then and move into their recovery pathways, uh, and then the, the social support side of things and recovery support were taken away from the area. So local people in the area with a history of addiction and a lived experience of recovery got together and campaigned and, and now services are coming back into the area. <laughs> Woman was a community activist, um, Helen Crummy, and her book was titled Let the People Sing. It was the first book I ever read in my life. I was in a in a, serving a prison sentence and a woman for this community came up, gave me the book and I read it and we were picking a name, it came to my head right away how much Helen had done. There's a wee statue directly right over for the shop. Statue's called Let the People Sing. And I said, let's call it Let the People Sing. I was brought up in this community and had been addicted to drugs my whole life through circumstances of this community. We were all brought up in a hard life and served quite a bit of time in prisons. And I moved back to the community and I was in recovery and recognised there was nothing in this community during COVID for anybody in recovery. Nothing, I mean zilch, nothing at all. I opened a fellowship meeting and I knew John was in recovery through stuff John had done before. And we got talking and I had had this crazy idea in my head about something John had done years ago. Why don't we try and get one gone in Nidri? We just started a wee forum thing and seen what other people thought and all that, and it just sort of kicked off with there. It was like an amends for me, eh, back to, because I had been part of destroying this community my whole life, eh. When you're in addiction, you're nothing but selfish. When you get into recovery, you realise what you were doing in your addiction, so you become selfless and start helping others, and that's kind of how it's been for me, yeah.